Things have really gone south for Chris Tyson, with over 500,000 leaked messages from his shady Discord server alone, and now some serious new allegations. I've been seeing tweets about this for weeks now, and it's definitely a hot topic. But the thing is, it's not just Chris who is under fire, because people also are starting to question Mr. Beast's involvement. I mean, did he know what his friend was up to the whole time? Is he a part of this too? Well, let's dig a little bit deeper and find out. For those who might be out of the loop, Chris Tyson is a longtime friend and co-host of Mr. Beast, formerly known as Chris, now referred to as Ava Chris Tyson, a popular transgender influencer. But since most people know this person as Chris, we'll stick with that name for the entire video. Chris has been a part of Mr. Beast's videos since the channel kicked off in 2012. They met in high school, becoming roommates, and basically climbed the YouTube ranks together. Now, I don't know about you, but these new scandals have really shaken things up, leading him to step away from the channel entirely, which, which has to do with Mr. Beast's YouTube company. In this video, I'm going to break down impartially to figure out what Chris did and didn't do, and let you guys draw your own conclusions. But honestly, when I made my first video about him a year ago, I thought that was it. Seriously, I thought I would never have to touch this topic ever again. But I guess here we are, with fresh evidence surfacing that proves the previous issues weren't just hot air. So let's dive into the issue and see what's really happening, because this isn't fading away anytime soon, especially with YouTube's biggest name tangled up in it. It's just insane. First things first, Chris is getting a lot of hate for a couple of reasons. One major issue is definitely transphobia. The main concern and why many are so invested in this issue is his inappropriate tweets, jokes, and behavior, especially those involving minors. He posted stuff saying kids turn him off, and that's just beyond disturbing. In 2020, he expressed his admiration for Shadman, an artist known for drawing young girls. These fall under the category of a word beginning with L that I can't say, otherwise I will certainly get demonetized, which refers to depictions of underage characters in highly inappropriate scenarios. And yeah, he's got exactly what he asked for. Artwork hanging in his living room, which is just weird as hell. The fact that this person has a child makes it even worse and proves that he doesn't have one ounce of shame. I mean, only a total creep would be fixated on both fictional and real kids. Just think about how you'd feel if your own child was in the same danger you are causing for others. It's frightening, right? Now, things escalated when Chris was accused of engaging in a lewd connection with a teenager fan named Lava. For context, Lava wasn't just a fan, he was actively part in the Discord server linked to Chris, and even served as a moderator. But where things get extremely messy is that Chris and Lava first started chatting when Lava was just 13, while Chris was nearly 20. Now, that's a serious issue. The messages were shared in public Discord servers, but many YouTube videos and posts quickly branded their interactions as inappropriate. One viral post went so far as to say they joked about things like and exchanged suggestive images and claimed they met up when Lava was only 16. It's fucking stupid that he didn't even get that 16 is still a minor. For sure, Lava just magically aged three years in a minute to save Chris's ass, but guess what? You were still a kid. Anyway, he initially tried to brush off these claims, admitting to sending weird sexual jokes, but firmly denying any wrongdoing. Given Chris's public identification as a bisexual, some people thought that Chris might have been grooming Lava. So in a twist, Lava later admitted after reviewing their old conversations, he realized the content was indeed 
inappropriate and wrong. But in another post on X, Lava pushed back against accusations against Chris, stating, Chris did nothing wrong. What's actually disgusting is you guys twisting things and making me a victim, is what they said. Uh, grooming doesn't always show itself clearly from the start, and it can take time for someone to recognize and understand what's happened to them. I mean, if he was a child, and most grooming victims take time to realize that something inappropriate had actually occurred. And it could be the same with Lara. I mean, only time will tell, and maybe help him fully understand the actions of this horrible person. And more screenshots from their Discord chats are making the rounds, showing Lava telling Chris to practice with this. And yep, you guessed it, that was accompanied by a very inappropriate picture. So yeah, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, yes, Lava may have been young and foolish, but Chris decided to jump right into this nasty conversation and even sent some questionable replies. When you are at the age that Chris is at, it is certainly your responsibility to at least block that person and not engage. It's, is this rocket science? It's just entirely frustrating that people like this keep abusing their power. And you know what, it is frustrating for me, for everyone involved, and of course, especially to the victims. It makes everyone look bad. I can't tell you the amount of times now where YouTubers have made headlines for being pieces of shit like this. Why can't we just enjoy making videos and not participate in any of this? Is that too much to ask? Apparently so for some people. And one of them even showed a picture of James Charles with white liquid dripping on his face, along with the caption, Lava's mum tomorrow. Well, it might be nothing for Lava, but there's basically no excuse for Chris, a grown man to be sharing these types of jokes with a 13 year old. No matter how you try to spin it, it's just downright repulsive. Now, here we go again with another conversation that was posted two weeks ago on X. Supposedly, it showed some creepy Snapchat messages from 2019 between Chris and a different 14 year old boy. Not Lava, just to be clear. Read it for yourself and see how pathetic and disgusting Chris looks trying to talk to this kid. And keep in mind guys that these conversations we're seeing are just the tip of the iceberg. There are over half a million screenshots floating around the internet about this issue. And it's generally impossible to cover each one in just one single video. I mean, that would be insane. It would literally have to be a 5,000 hour documentary. But for now, let's focus on the most important ones and try and shed some light on the matter at hand. So we don't have the full picture of their relationship, but it seems that Mr. Beast got involved and contacted Lava with YouTuber Keemstar after Keem's drama alert reposted on the alleged grooming and Chris promptly deleted all of his tweets. Despite everything that has come to light, Lava continues to defend himself and denies being involved with Chris with these inappropriate messages, which honestly is kind of hard to say why he's doing that. Maybe he just hasn't fully realized the context of what Chris did to him, or perhaps he's simply scared considering the influential people involved. Now, the million dollar question is, where on earth was Mr. Beast in all of this? I could already hear his carefully scripted response. Oh, it was just harmless jokes. Nothing to worry about. Right, okay, yeah. Trying to downplay the serious situation and act like nothing happened is insane. And even the other day, a former member of the Mr. Beast team, Jake Franklin, dropped a bombshell saying Jimmy knew, yes, which is insane. Mr. Beast had an idea about this ever since and didn't say a damn thing. Here's an actual video where he is just casually hanging out in Chris's living room, surrounded by that creepy artwork that we had mentioned earlier. So I guess he's absolutely fully aware of his friend's messed up intentions. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, 
is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. So soon after all of this came to light, another person who works for Mr. Beast posted a video and said that if the truth about the Chris Tyson scandal gets out, it could be the end of Mr. Beast's career. But let's be real, with his large platform and the way things work, it's unlikely he'll face any real consequences. I mean, just look at what happened to Sniper Wolf. She literally doxed someone, YouTube changed her policy, and now she's just back to normal uploading and stealing people's content with nothing done. This ex-employee made it clear that Chris is just the beginning of the problem and apparently they couldn't just let him go because he threatened legal action and apparently had some dirt on them as well so they had to handle this carefully. But now things have taken a new twist with fresh videos floating around on X, this time from someone named Nathan W. And let me tell you, it's damning evidence against Chris this time. Nathan claims that Chris is engaging in predatory behavior, not only towards him, but also with other minors. It's honestly horrifying to think that Nathan is just one of the many kids involved in all of this. There seems to be no end to the list of young boys he was targeting. It's honestly just unbelievable at this point. Chris actually preyed upon Nathan when he was just 15 years old. What's even worse is this shithead has been calling minors daddy in the Discord channel and bombarding them with explicit content. This whole thing is just disgusting. Even making this video, it makes me feel, I don't know, just not good. I suppose Sunny V2 when he came out with his video not that long ago saying Chris Tyson is going to be a problem for Mr. Beast. Honestly, I feel like that really did come true. He has indeed become a problem for Mr. Beast. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because... I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. And Nathan further reveals that even children as young as seven were allowed to join Chris's server. This one even had a not safe for work channel. So why the hell would you give 12 to 15 year olds the responsibility of organizing explicit content and ensuring no one posted a CP? Like my guy, what is actually wrong with you? This whole thing is just fucked up. At this point, he just needs to get a life and stop dragging innocent kids into his sick fantasies. Chris is seriously effed up in the head. And if you've made it this far into the video, well, I'm sure that's something we can definitely all agree on. Oh, and to add fuel to the fire, this person is not just endangering young boys, but he's also targeting literally anyone. A transgender named Muskina Bravely came forward and exposed Chris for using his position at Mr. Beast for certain favors. And I read through the entire thread, and honestly, let me tell you, it was a real eye-opener. It made me realize that Chris Tyson is just honestly a waste of air at this point. There's no other way to even put it. He's just downright despicable. Recently, Drama Alerts shared a screenshot from Chris's Discord server, revealing that someone under the name Mr. Beast was engaging in some real dirty conversations with certain people who are not at the age. And keep in mind, this is the same channel where Chris was sending certain images to people as well. Again, a new name from X, Solid Files this, and claims to have leaked chat logs from the group. According to this guy, he's confident that Mr. Beast's account in the Discord actually belongs to the real Mr. Beast. So if we take a look at the evidence, it seems like Mr. Beast was actually in the server 
and probably aware of the activities that his friend was involved in with those miners. But whether this is true or not, we can't say for sure. I'll take this one allegation with a grain of salt, but yeah. Because Mr. Beast failed to stand up to his friend, his own employees are now exposing everything. After the scandal against Chris came out, things started falling apart for the Mr. Beast brand as well. And honestly, just in my opinion, he will probably find a way to recover from this. As for Chris, people have been hating on him for so long now. I guess these new pieces of evidence just added to the fire that was already there. But this time, way more people were actually watching. But going back to Mr. Beast, he should have at least reported or told someone, but instead he chose to stay quiet. So in my opinion, he also does carry a bit of the blame at least especially when you have that large of an audience. It is generally your duty to protect your audience, especially considering the age demographic of people who watch Mr. Beast. I mean, it's just totally irresponsible from him. But now his audience are just hoping that these leaked conversations aren't true, that he isn't the one mentioned in those Discord chats. There are so many different opinions on this whole situation, and I'm generally curious to see what you guys think about this. Just from looking at Mr. Beast's new video alone, I can tell that so many people were angry, and understandably so, with over 3 million dislikes on his latest video alone, which is crazy, but again, not surprising. But should someone with a large audience like Mr. Beast be more responsible and careful with who his audience interacts with. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. But yes, Chris Tyson has certainly become a problem for Mr. Beast.